This is my home office library slash library slash living room. And um, we have decided that we're going to put bookcases on this wall. Let me back up without falling over top of something. This room is a disaster right now. Um, yeah, we're gonna put bookcases on this wall um, because I have a lot of books that need shelves. So initially we had thought about doing um, like built-in bookcases. Jay was gonna build a build walls out on either side of the windows and then put like built-in cases on either side. But we've decided to wait on that whole um, ordeal and we're just going to buy simple, um, like the tracks that go on the wall and with brackets, and then he bought really nice um, pine to <clears throat> make the shelves with. So he would have to buy a table saw if we wanted to do the built-ins, and we're just not ready to go down that road just yet. So for the moment, that's what we're going to do. Um, we'll put the track, you know, that goes up and down the wall with brackets and then just simple shelves. And I think it will look really nice and my books will finally have a home. So, so um, Jay is getting started. He actually bought the brackets today and the track wall mounty things. And we discussed putting him cutting them because they're what, six foot runs? Is that what you said? Yeah. We discussed him um, cutting them and putting them above the chair rail only, but then we decided not to do that. So he removed the chair rail. I think I'm gonna put the chair rail back. Oh, you are? What, like well, in between? Yeah, I mean, by the time I patch it all up, yeah. I, I could have I done the chair rail 10 times over. It didn't take any time at all to cut it. This is true. So there you go. He's gonna put the chair rail back between. Look at that, I'm gonna have bookcases today. Okay, not today. Really soon. Really soon. So, how far apart did you put the tracks? They're on the studs. They're on the studs. So they're 16 inches. 16 inches on the studs. Which you can see, he marked out here, which was very smart. So they'll be straight. And then all of my beautiful books will have a home, permanent home, and my office will be somewhat organized. <clears throat> you just need to, I think I'm going to do the trim real quick and then I'll, then I'll work on the shelves. Bookshelf update. Some of the brackets were on back order. So these are all the brackets that we have at the moment. So we'll have to wait for the other ones to come in to finish this project, but at least it's moving along. Um, <clears throat> we decided to go with two different depths, so you'll be able to see it better when the shelf is on, but the two bottom shelves are will be deeper than the rest of them because um, I have a lot of children's books and just bigger books that are deeper that need more space. So um, the two bottom shelves will be, I think 11 or 12 inches deep. And then the other ones are like about 10, nine or 10. So these are my shelves. We got real pine wood, not melamine, the particle board, because I like real wood. So how much were these? Jay? Uh, about one, this, the narrow ones were like $20 a piece and the thicker, the, tw the glitter, the one foot were about $28, $29 each. There you go. 20 to $28, depending on the width, the depth. Yeah. So, so we had, uh, what's it called? Chair rail. Chair rail. It goes all the way around the room. So Jay decided <clears throat> to take it off and then cut it back to size to fit in between the rails. And he 
he just did that on his, um, not his table saw, miter saw, miter saw. <laughs> because he does not have a table saw, which is one reason why we're doing the project this way right now. Um, yeah. So he's trying to fit the pieces back in between the rails now. And then he will stain the wood and then I will have shelves to put my books on. So mini air compressor, <clears throat> nail gun, makes the job easy and fun. <laughs> Like my rhyme? Good, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure I, I should be a poet. I didn't say anything. I don't want to get, I don't want to get you too cocky or anything. Right. So now Jay is placing the shelves, fitting them. I think cutting them to size, and then he'll stain them and sand them down and all that. He said that this one, that these are not like level. But um, I think once you get the books on there, you're not going to really be able to tell. So um, it's level enough <laughs> that it's not going to be a big deal. Anyway, getting excited. Here are the, some of the ones that he's already stained. Of course, it's, it's dark outside and our light is very yellow, so it's kind of hard to see. I'll have to show you again in the daylight, in natural light, but... Anyway, I like the medium walnut color, the way it's turning out. It's just kind of a nice medium-ish neutral color. I think it looks really pretty. So this is the current state of the living room <clears throat> slash office slash library. It's pretty much a disaster, but today's the big day. Today is my favorite day when we move into a house the day where I put books, all of my books on shelves. So Jay um, put these racks up and, not racks, tracks on the wall with brackets. And then he bought pine shelving, pine boards, stained them. And now it's time to give my precious books a home. So exciting. organized in not really any way shape or form if you remember I used to have everything rainbow colored in Singapore but um, we just decided to stick them on there and I will organize them later and all of these books are going upstairs they're kids books not kids books young adult books that my kids can read now so they're going upstairs on another bookshelf um, for them that we have up on the landing so they can get to them easily and um, now I need to organize the rest of my office space, which is a disaster, as I showed you earlier. Um, all this is like office-y stuff. So I have a couch that's on order. Um, who knows when it will be here because everything's on back order right now, but hopefully soon. And that will go in here and I've got some chairs and it's going to look lovely pretty soon, but Probably not too soon. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video of us putting our bookshelves up in my office space. And the next video that is coming up will actually be a before and now um, video of what my office looked like when we first moved in and then what it looks like today after I've organized it and I got my new couch and all of that good stuff. So stay tuned for that, it is coming up next.